Kia ora, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news the IMF is warning the worst of the current economic turmoil is yet to come. However, first in the US, retail sales last week on a same store basis fell away noticeably from the same week a year ago. Inflation can barely explain the growth in this latest survey. But American consumer inflation expectations for the year ahead moderated again for a third consecutive month now at 5.4% in September, the lowest in a year, and down from 5.7% in August. The long-run average inflation expectation is 3%, so there's still a long way to go to get these down to, from these elevated levels. In China, their September data shows they pumped out a lot more bank debt to support their economy, in fact twice as much as analysts were expecting, and a new record high. This comes as authorities are supporting a slowing economy that is being hit by a property crisis and an unfortunate resurgence in pandemic cases. In the UK, they too are pumping out vast additions of central bank support as their financial crisis extends. In Australia, business sentiment fell in September, even as its business conditions improved. The NAB Business Confidence Index fall was the lowest reading since June amid concerns over rising interest rates and a gloomy global outlook. Meanwhile, Aussie business conditions rose, being above their pre-COVID peak, with sales surging while both profitability and employment were unchanged but stayed elevated. And the IMF says the world's economy is seen expanding 3.2% real this year, in line with its July forecast, but it expects it to slow to 2.7% in 2023, down from 2.9% earlier predicted. That's according to their latest update of their world economic outlook. All this while global inflation is expected to run at a massive 8.8% this year. The 2022 forecast is actually a brave position given what others are suggesting. But even they say, in short, the worst is yet to come, and for many people, 2023 will feel like a recession. China's stumbles are a key headwind for the global economy, they say. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today at 3.89% and unchanged again. But the price of gold will open today at $1,681 an ounce, and this is up $13 from this time yesterday. And oil prices start today down $2.50 from this time yesterday, at just under $88.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price has fallen a bit more to $93.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will open today at 56.5 US cents, and a full one cent higher than this time yesterday. Against the Australian dollar, we're a quarter cent higher at 89.1 Australian cents. Against the euro, we're a half a cent higher at 57.8 euro cents. That all means our trade weight index starts today at 67.1 and up about 90 basis points. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90